Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Zeta playthrough. This is part 27 in this episode where we're gonna go and find the first step, really? First step, we walk into a Pokemon. Okay, great. We are gonna go and find the exit to this cave. First step, really? First step, back, and a Pokemon appears. And there's a there's double battles in this cave? Oh my, okay. Oh, don't magnet pull me. Okay, I was afraid I was gonna get magnet pulled because Jirachi was up against a Magneton. If that was the case, I would have been pretty damn annoyed. Pretty damn annoyed. Uh, we can't go that way, but we can go this way. So we're heading back from where we just were because we ended up at a freaking item at the end of last episode. And that was a little bit annoying because I honestly thought we were headed the right way. I haven't, I don't actually know where another freaking cave entrance is. The only place I can think is heading a little bit further down from where I'm currently standing. Like the very bottom left. We might have something still over there, like down here. One of these caves. Maybe. Kling Clang level 50. Wild Pokemon level 50. Jirachi, you don't seem that special anymore. Uh, that, okay, we went through that area. We didn't go down here. We didn't go into this cave. The exit was that close, really? Well, either way, we're out of the cave, uh, like, one minute into this episode, so honestly, that's probably one of the best case scenarios for me. You dare talk to me? Feel my wrath. Okay. Sure thing, buddy. I will, I will feel your wrath. Where, where is your wrath? Is it in that, in the river over there, or? Well, what do you want me to do? I'm a little bit confused. I don't know how I feel your wrath. <laughs> Why don't you tell me how to do things to make you happy? What am I even on about? I'm just gonna shut up for a little bit, because apparently I'm I'm not entirely with it right now. Hitmonchan, we can use Fly on that. Fly will take that thing out. I hope. I've I've said like Aerial Ace would take it out all this few times before. Sky Uppercut, you just played me. Sky Uppercut detect. I'm getting played. I'm getting played by this Hitmonchan. Starbound used Fly, Starbound used Aerial Ace. You can't use both Starbound. Sorry to break it to you. You have to pick one or the other. <laughs> And Heracross. Okay, so Aerial Ace actually took out the Hitmonchan for once. The first time. And it was the time that I didn't want to go for it stuff with. Great. Still, Sky Uppercut hitting me while I was flying. That. Good plays. Good plays. And we should be able to... If Aerial Ace can take out the most defensive Pokemon ever, Hitmonchan, then I'm pretty sure it can take out the rest. I stand corrected. I stand corrected by this Toxicroak that apparently has the invisible focus sash. So, damn. God damn. Just got played. But my wrath failed? What, where is this wrath? I see no wrath of you. What, what, what do you want about, buddy? Is there an item over here? I put an item over here. Damn. There isn't. Kind of disappointed. I put an item over there. Blackfist Residential District. Residential. So is the Pokemon Center a little bit further on? I'm gonna assume the Pokemon Center is a little bit further on, but we have a lot of po uh, a lot of people we can speak to. I say I only have two badges left before I can face the Elite Four. I only have to fight Dimitri, and then I can have a crack at Miranda and Caspian City. Then I'll have all the badges I need to go through Victory Road. Okay, thank you for telling me that. That's kind of useful for me. This house makes me a little bit ill. An EXP share. Okay, okay then. Which region is your favorite? Uh, probably Hoenn. Hoenn is probably my favourite region. Just saying. It's definitely the one I've put the most time into. The Tropius looks noticeably cheerful. Noticeably cheerful, okay. Oh, the Ce Celio is adorable. It is, it's true. Celio it is adorable. Hey there, have you ever been to the wireless communications depot in Fianca City? Yeah, sure, let's pretend. Isn't it a cool place? Have you been to the top floor yet? No, I guess not. They're still beta testing it. I'm sure they'd let you up there if you asked nicely, though. It's a cool system that lets you visual, that lets you virtualize certain trainers and battle simulations of them. Here, take my ID. Yogg's Cast Martin. Yogg's Cast Martin. Okay, I like this. I like this reference. I am, I am a fan. I, I have, I do watch the Yogg's Cast. I still do. So yes, yes. There's somebody trading a Lapras in a house around here. If you're looking for that Pokemon, you should go and look for it. Uh, not particularly looking for it. But, you know, I'd like to see where it is. The survivor was holding a poison gem. Okay. 
Welcome to the Ranger Outpost. We live here when we're not out doing Ranger type things. We could probably go back and do a Ranger mission if we wanted to, but uh, I, I don't want to. <laughs> Are you a Ranger? You can join us over in Kivu Town. Spinder looks happy. Number looks happy. Everyone's happy. Good for them. Good for them. What are those kids up to? They're blocking the entrance to Blackfish City. They call themselves fanboys, but one of them is a girl. No one's blocking the entrance this side. Okay. Oh god. Let's just ski. It's it's a house full of skis. Okay. All these Pokemon have been hoeing so far. Do you have a dark type? I need it to speak Dimitri, and I'll give you a Lapras for it. Do I want to trade my Absol for a Lapras? No. Hey, do you want this triple triad card? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, sure. Which team wanted to cover the wild in water? Team Aqua, that's pretty obvious. Which team created Mewtwo? Team Rocket, that's obvious. Which team had a leader named Proton? I feel like that was Team Rocket. Yeah, in Gen 2. Which team is commonly known for its use of Pokemon such as Zubat and Coughing? Again, that's Team Rocket. Which team appeared in the Almia region? Uh, Dim Sun. Nailed it, there we go, we get the Shuckle card. Blackfist City is a is led by a tough trainer named, named Dimitri, he's a psychic, blah blah blah. Do you think that Pokemon, do you think that the Pokemon, I can't speak today, Jesus Christ. Do you think that the Pokemon a person chooses determines how good a trainer they are? I don't know, I like to think a good trainer will be good with any Pokemon. Yeah, they will. They could use a freaking dance bus. They're a good trainer, they'll use it right. I work every night and every day at dead-end criminal jobs just to make ends meet. I just really hope my little girl doesn't find out how awful a father I really am. Daddy joined Team Asgarda a while ago. There should be a space in between those, and that's, that's, that's making me annoyed. Everyone says they're evil, but if Daddy joins and they obviously can't be, uh, well, no, they're, they're pretty evil. Sorry to burst your bubble. Weird kids running into Blackfish City. Oh my god. Any of these give me an item plus? I like items. I like items plus. No. No. Welcome, young one. I am Brother Eris, Prophet of Giratina. Can I help you? What the heck is Maladukes? How do I find Giratina? This, this was so pointless. You just shush. No. So you... I am Father Brius, Prophet of Arceus. How can I help you? How do I get Arceus? Open your heart and let... They say he lives on the planet in Scipio A, only accessible amongst the stars. The heck is Deveavus? I mean, I know what Deveavus is. It's like the Divine Plate came alive or some rubbish that was on about before. Okay, so uh, yeah, we just shoot ourselves into the stars with an open heart and we'll catch an Arceus. Sounds easy enough, right? Yeah, why not? This house makes me feel ill. I'm leaving. I don't care what's in there. No. <laughs> I don't want to go into a house full of Amolga and Pachirisu. No, thank you. Meow. Purring meows. Um. Okay. All my friends told me I'd die alone with 100 cats. Ha, I only have four. I, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. You, you do what you gotta do. If that's what makes you happy, you have those four cats. I really don't care. Do I know you why you're talking to me? That makes sense. <laughs> um, would you like a sample? Uh, yes, I would like a... To be honest, I'd like a timer ball. It just makes the most sense, because if I'm throwing Pokeballs to catch a Pokemon anyway, time is going on. It's a good Pokeball. How is this considered a city? There's maybe 20 people living here. True. True. Can't even be mad. Makes a good point. No item over here. Then why put that little gap there? Why? There's a Safari Zone there. There's a legendary Pokemon in the Safari Zone. Okay. It may be advertising though. So many questions are popping into my head right now. So many questions. We are the Spinners Club, leave us be. We are the Spinners Club, leave us be. Spinners Club, leave us be. From talking to them, I only got more questions. Great. Anyway. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell was that even about? There's a Mamoswine. Hello, Mamoswine. 
Mammoth Swine stay. Oh, come on. How difficult can it be? You're, t you're speaking to a Mammoth Swine. It's going to be pretty difficult. I really want to do the Crystal League, but I can't get past this gym. To make you psychic type Pokemon are stronger than my fighting ones. Uh, yeah, but we're, we're finally at the Pokemon Center, which is what I was looking for. So uh, let's just go into here. I did want to start speaking to some people, see if we could get any items. We've got any XP share out speaking to everyone, which is nice. Blackfish City is far from any ocean. I get nervous here, away from the sea. Look, don't ask, it's a long story. Why are you speaking? Just... Ah, okay. Okay, Frost Lass, I'm just gonna leave you in the Pokemon Center. You do whatever you like. Just stop being creepy, please. Um, you seem suspicious. The gym leader of this town's name is Dimitri. He often likes to relax atop the department store. Oh, so I had to go in here anyway? Okay, that's good, I guess. Uh, I do want some hyper potions, that's for certain. I'm gonna get 30 hyper potions. I am gonna get a couple of. Can we get full heals? Oh, we can get full heals. I like full heals. We can get 30 full heals. And that should do us. We can sell that star piece that we picked up, though. And that carbos, because we're never gonna use it. Um, we can use the rest of that. Rare bone. Still never sold that. We got that a long time ago. Let's start selling some of this stuff. Uh, Moonstone, we are never going to use you, we can sell you. Poison Gem, never going to use you, you can be sold. Uh, we'll keep the rest just in case. That looks, that's enough sold, that's everything I needed to sell out of my inventory. Uh, I don't need anything like that, no thank you. I don't need any of those Pokeballs, no thank you. We can head up to the next floor, we can see what they're selling here. What are you selling? TMs, okay, you're selling a TM for Flamethrower, Shadow Claw, Stone Edge. These are some good TMs. Scald, Thunderbolt, I want Thunderbolt and I want Ice Beam. I want both of these. I want Scald, yes please. Um, I want Psychic, yes please. My god, that's a lot of good TMs. That is a lot of good TMs. Okay, we're gonna have a quick look at those TMs I just bought. That is some some nice TMs. Uh, can anyone have fun ball? I want electric type move. I really do. Jirachi can have Thunderbolt. Well, I said before, if it could, I was going to. <clears throat> yes, please. Goodbye, gravity, because that move is really not too useful for us. Okay. We can also get Psychic Shadow Ball. Oh my god, we have, we have some good TMs in here now. Some really good TMs. Uh, Ice Beam. I would like to possibly learn Ice Beam on someone. Queendra can learn Ice Beam. Queendra doesn't make the best usage out of Ice Beam. Honestly, I don't know if we need Ice Beam. I think we'll be fine with what we have for the moment. I do want to head to the other side of this counter and see what you have. I sell rare and valuable eggs. They sell for 10,000 poke each, except for my rare egg, which sells for 200,000. Honestly, at some point, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna hatch all of those eggs in an episode. I'm gonna do it. I wanna just know what they are. Welcome, how may I serve you? What do you have? Uh, stones and dolls. No, thank you. What about you? Ooh, evolution items, okay. Uh, I don't need any of those though, because Kingdra and Magmortar are in that evolve anyway. Seals. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, we are doing it. We are definitely doing it. Okay, we're just gonna buy a couple. I don't need it coming out on every Pokemon, but I, I, I do want to put like a fire seal on Charizard. How do I put a seal on my Pokemon? How do I do it? Fire seal, use. Charizard. Is that really all I have to do? Really? Is that simple? Ping Electric on Jirachi, because why the hell not? It makes sense somehow. Um, okay, so we can test that out in a little bit. Do, do, do. I'm gonna head up to- wait, did I- did, was that the last person? Did I speak to the last person? I nearly skipped- oh my god, okay, okay. I'm happy I came back to this. Um, right. So, the good items are here. What good items do I want? Uh, Focus Sash. 200? Yes, please. I'll take some of those. Um, Amulet Coin. I'll take one of those as well. Rocky Helmet. Um, no one can really make 
a great use out of that. Uh, we could get, we may as well get a life orb. We may as well get a shell bell, because why not? And I am gonna buy one of each of the choice items because they're good. They're good items. They might not be the most useful for me yet, but they are good items to have. Okay. Thank God I went back to that, or else I would have desperately messed up. Um, X items and EV items I do not need. This is a nice relaxing playthrough. There's a Team Asgard member underneath us. This is EV training stuff. I don't need any of that. Okay. I'm not stealing anything. What are you talking about? Not suspicious at all. Not at all. Um, you. You look like a psychic trainer. Good day, Carlos. Yes, I know who you are. I'm the psychic type leader, Dimitri. I run the gym here in Blackfist. I've been waiting for you ever since I sensed you defeat Odin. I'll meet you at my gym, Carlos. I'm quite anxious to battle you. Okay, then. Okay, then. I come up here every day just to watch Dimitri Lax. Stalker alert! Um, <laughs> I'm studying him for a project for school. Stalker alert! <laughs> God damn! Man, the Blackfist department store is so cool. It sells almost everything, and it even has a floor for relaxation on top. Uh, hang on. One thing I just need to do. Gotcha. Shumhouse done. My goodbye and I are exercising. We have to be ready to take on Dimitri. Uh, Garchomp. Why does Gabite look so much brighter than Garchomp? Like, just look at them side by side. Garchomp, sure, bigger, but... I prefer the colouring on Gabite. Oh well. I wasn't expecting the sign to come up like that. That kind of... I was a little bit like, what the hell? <laughs> um, I honestly think it's quicker to take the stairs than it is to actually go down the elevators in these games. I always have. And I'll always stick to it. But yeah, um, I think we're just going to continue speaking to everyone that we didn't. <laughs> this dragon is obviously a Pokemon, nothing suspicious here. I honestly wasn't sure what the hell to make of that for a second. I concur wholeheartedly, my friend. Sir Willis CMS is fairly cool as well. Obviously, a Pokemon. I do say, my good sir, the Suzerain is quite the amazing and refined individual. These are two people that made the game, by the way, if you don't know who they're referencing. Um, Dragon, obviously a Pokemon. Nothing suspicious here. I... <laughs> no, no, I don't even know what to say about that. That's just... Okay, you... Sure, sure. Um, we have a little bit of time left in this episode, so we are going to start taking on this gym. We're going to, you know, start taking on some psychic types. We're going to put Shadow in front, because Shadow should just destroy them, to be honest. You don't have a chance of getting to our gym leader. Let's see about that. I'm going to have to mute that, because I just need my desk. God damn it. Ow, that hurt. Crap. <laughs> But the Pokemon in this gym are level 57. Okay. So they are actually a little bit higher than our levels. Which does make me consider doing a little bit of training off camera. Just like two or three levels to get back on par. But at the same time... We're, we're not desperately far behind. We'll see how this gym goes, to be honest. We'll just see how this gym goes. If at the end of next episode, I feel like I need to train, screw it, I'll train. If not, I won't. That simple. Crunch does about Wobbuffet's half of Wobbuffet's health. I only have physical move, and he didn't go for counter. I'm a Garchomp, and he didn't go for counter. I was expecting counter, not gonna lie. I really was. Espeon wants to come in. I doubt it's going to have Dazzling Gleam. We can crunch this. It should probably go down to a crunch, actually. It does go down to a crunch. Okay. There we go. Nice and easy. Uh, wants to learn Dragon Rush. No, thank you. Dragon Rush is not a good move. It just isn't. It's a fact. Dragon Rush. It misses a lot. It's like 75% accuracy. 20 more power than Dragon Claw. It's not good. I'd much rather run Outrage if I wanted more power. Uh, we can waterfall the guard of four. I feel like we should be able to do that. I feel like it might. Be it's just a two hit KO. It's not even a two hit KO. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, God of War. Calm yourself. Calm yourself down, God of War. Can we crit? No, but we can finish it with a headbutt, which is my favorite way to finish people off. Just freaking headbutt. We still have headbutt on the screen trip. That's kind of surprising. I wouldn't have expected to still have freaking headbutt on my Kingdra. Queendra. Question one. True or false? The ground type is weak to the poison type. False. It's the other way around. Easy. Easy. If this gym's just going to be on tight matchups, easy. Got this. Um, we are going to take on this trainer as well and probably do the next question. And then that'll probably be the episode because I want to keep them at 25 minutes. Grumpig comes out. Grumpig. 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 Okay. Okay. That did very little damage. Why is Thunderbolt so little PB when we just taught this thing Thunderbolt? I have not used Thunderbolt and it's down to 5 PP already. It's a little bit weird to me. But okay. Sure. We finally get the Paralyze. It's like a 20% chance because it's doubled, but... Oh well. Uh, we can just finish it with a double edge. We'll keep one Thunderbolt just in case, like, a Psychic Flying type comes in. Sigilyph? Executor. Okay, we're swapping out. We are swapping into the Charizard, because Charizard should be able to just flamethrower this thing. I also... Wait, hang on. Do we have the Fire Seal? Oh, we do have the Fire Seal. I missed the Electric Seal on Jirachi because I wasn't paying attention. But we do have the seals working. Okay, then. I like this. I don't know what I was expecting from the seals. I was expecting it to be a little bit like um, the Diamond and Pearl seals. I think it was Diamond and Pearl, where you could put um, the seals with a seal case in your PC. And that was just like one little tiny flame for each individual seal you bought. But this one looks like you just put one seal on and you're good to go. So that makes me happier. Bronzong comes in. Is that thing heat proof? Probably not. It probably would have taken that hit a lot better if it was heat proof. So I imagine it's levitate. It's the one thing of Bronzong. You never know what ability it's going to have. You never know what's going to be super effective. It's kind of irritating. And you're finally going to send in BHM. BHM. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's... Okay, how did I miss that electric seal before? That's freaking huge. It takes up a very large amount of the screen. Uh, you're going to go for a guard split. Okay. I honestly feel like your defenses are pretty much the same as mine anyway. So, guard split doesn't do much for you. Especially not when you do it twice. That's kind of pointless. But, um, down goes BHM. The stupid Pokemon that goes for guard split twice. Why not? 5,000 XP for that. Oh my god, okay. Uh, sorry, Sissy. Oh my god, her name was Sissy. Okay. And we're going to do this. What Pokemon are known as the Creation Trio? The Creation Trio would be Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. Good. Okay, nice and easy. But that is going to round up this episode. We are going to go back and heal for certain, because for some reason we don't have any Thunderbolt PP, which is a little bit strange, even though we just taught it Thunderbolt. Can't get over that. But that is going to round up this episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button, it really helps out the channel. And without further ado, bye!